Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Last Cast. Guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching my videos. I cannot believe I have one video up to 10,000 views. I just didn't see that coming. Guys, thank you so much. Today, we're gonna to talk about something very important and a conversation that needs to be had in the fishing industry for a very long time. So, this is gonna get very interesting. If you guys don't know, I'm right hand dominant. I use a left hand bait caster. A lot of you guys out there are right hand dominant and you're using a right hand bait caster. I'm going to explain why that is wrong in my eyes and why I think it's wrong in general and how switching to a left hand bait caster can improve your fishing skills. Let's get right to it. So, like I said, I'm right hand dominant. I use a left hand bait caster. Why? Well, I'm gonna start by explaining why you shouldn't. So if you are right hand dominant and using a right hand bait caster, this is what happens when you cast. You cast, you go right hand, you switch over to your left hand to hold the spool, then you start cranking in. That's what happens. With me, it's always right hand on the reel and it's always left hand cranking. So I cast like that and then I just start cranking in, all right? The difference between me using a left hand reel and you that are also, you all that are also right hand dominant using a right hand reel is the feel of the rod. I think we can all agree that if you're using any type of finesse bait and you're not just reeling in, if you're popping or doing any kind of movement with the bait that has to do with uh, flicking your rod or anything like that, your dominant hand is gonna do a better job at it than your left. If you're eating, if you're throwing a baseball, if you're brushing your teeth, if you're shooting a gun you're going to be using your dominant hand most likely you can always train to use the left hand but you'll never beat your dominant hand so the most important task when i'm throwing this fluke this white pearl fluke here is being able to get it to twitch and have the right movement to get that fish to think that the bait is real and the bait should is a target for for food so when i cast and I start popping that bait in like this, that is the most important task, not the actual reeling in. You're very rarely, you're gonna just catch a fish by just reeling in a fluke like that. It's not gonna happen. So it's the easiest task that I'm giving my less dominant hand. Again, reeling in is one movement. It's not right, it's not left, it's not back. It is just one movement straight forward. So I'm gonna give that task to my least dominant hand. The most important task I have here is my right hand popping that bait, okay? That's the most important task. And I also, when you're fishing a fluke or any type of finesse bait, you have to kind of change your cadence if the fish aren't biting. If the fish are not biting when you're sweeping really wide to the side, then sometimes you have to narrow it down a little bit and have more twitch to it. And that's your, your job of your right hand. It's easier to do when you have your dominant hand controlling it. All right, so that was the first reason, guys. Again, just to relap over it, you have more control with your right hand on your bait, allowing you to finesse your bait a lot better than if you're using your left hand, okay? For example, take your, your right hand, just a quick experiment, do like this. Or if you're at home, Try to brush your teeth with your right hand and see how easy it feels. Go to your left hand, take your rod and do this. You can still do it, but it's gonna feel very weird. And, it's, and first of all, you can start to fatigue your wrist almost immediately. And if you're at home, go brush your teeth, try to use your left hand and see how that feels. So again, that was the first point. The second point guys is the ability to not fatigue, okay. Fatiguing is very important, especially if you're out in a tournament or you're doing anything that has to do with fishing for more than probably 40 minutes. Majority of my friends come out to fish. They're done fishing after 40 minutes if it has anything to do with a fluke or something that they have to finesse. If it's a, a crankbait, they, they'll stay out a lot longer. And I, I've learned that over the years. And why is that? It's because guys, they are wearing down their hand because they're not using their dominant hand to operate this heavy setup, okay? So when you cast in like this, 
and you're using your left hand, guys, that will fatigue after about 40 minutes, 30 minutes, okay? And if you're not fatiguing after 30, 40 minutes, guys, you have adapted and that's good. But I promise you, if you switch back to your dominant hand, you're gonna see four or five hours before you get fatigued. For example, I can go four or five hours before I start feeling fatigue out of my hand and wrist. I will, I will start feeling fatigue from not eating at that point, okay? So, nothing's biting over here, guys. Let's go over here. Hopefully I can catch something while we're here. Again, I know this pond. This is where I shoot my videos at. There are a couple of good ones in here, but right now I know where they're at and they're down there and it's too much grass and whatnot to film this video down there. So, my second point, guys, was fatiguing, okay? That was my second point. The third point is gonna be the, I guess the comfortability of the rod and feeling natural, okay? Guys, when you feel natural with your rod and you're real, you're gonna get better results in general just because you always feel natural. Let me give an example. If you go do something and it doesn't feel natural, if you're on a bicycle, and you're riding that bicycle and it's too big or too small, you will now outlast somebody distance wise than someone that has a bicycle that's fitted for them specifically. Same thing like going golfing guys. When I can, I'll go swing at the course. When, if I'm using golf clubs that are my buddies and they're too short or too long, it's gonna feel unnatural. So I'm not gonna be as good. And I'm also just not gonna be able to just go as long as he can. Oh, hope I didn't get that stuff. All right, good deal. I'm just not going to be able to go as long as he can. But if I have cl my clubs that are fitted for me, guys, the grips are fitted for me, everything, you're, you're going to be able to go all day just swinging and just enjoying it, just feeling it. So, guys, that's my points that I made. Um, Tyler's Real Fishing video channel, excuse me, he, he posted a video about this a couple days ago. And his concern was... When you cast, so his concern that I saw, which is not my concern, and it, it actually turned out to not be his concern either, but this is a point that he made, was that when you cast, people were concerned. His concern was that a fish will bite the bait by the time it takes to do this, just switch over to your hand. That's not my concern. Very rarely does a fish bite the bait that quick. To me, it's all about feel of the rod, guys. That's, that's what it's all about. That's where the money's at, is about being able to feel that bait and fill the rod. And also my last point guys is the hook set. You cannot hook set better than someone that's using Okay, so if you're reeling in right hand hit right-handed and that fish bites, your left hand is what's doing the hook set. Guys, that just that just feels natural. It's like throwing a left hand punch. It doesn't feel right. Guys, when I hook set, I never have problem with hook sets. Like it happens, but that's because of the the bait I'm using, maybe the fish, you know, bit the fluke sideways instead of up and down. He bit it sideways and it slipped out of his mouth. But guys, my hook sets are fast and they're nasty. They're quick. And that's just how it should be. Because if you're reeling in, you're using your dominant hand, your dominant arm, it's like throwing a punch. It's like doing that versus doing that. That doesn't even feel right compared to doing that. So just remember that stuff, guys. Give it a shot when you can. And don't forget to comment. I want to know what you guys feel about this. And I want to know if this is going to help you guys. I know it's going to help you guys. I just want to know if it's helping you guys. It's helped me and it's helped my friends. And guys, thank you so much again for watching my videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. I want to know what you guys think. See you next video, guys. Take care. Peace.